Look how he just duck slaps Rex, bruh. I enjoyed that shit way too much. Play that shit again. Duck. Alright y'all, so I watched Invincible. And after finishing this show, I only got one thing to say, bruh. This man, Omni-Man, has pure black Air Force activity. Yes, damn it, I said it. J. Jonah Jameson has finally showed us his true power. My God almighty, Peter Parker, your ass best get to stepping. Cause J. Jonah Jameson is not playing any more games, bruh. But anyways, yo, this man, Omni-Man, is a pure savage. Like, I have never seen something like this before. And after watching this, I might have to do something, bruh. I just might have to put this man in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Now, I know Invincible's not an anime, but pff, shit, we might have to make an exception. So y'all already know I got the evidence on deck. And we will see if this man is worthy to be sat at the round table of Black Air Force activity. But before we start our investigation, let me go ahead and give out that spoiler warning real quick. If you have not seen Invincible, do not watch this video because you will be spoiled. But like for real though, if you have not seen this show, I highly recommend recommend watching it. In all honesty, it's one of the best shows I've seen in a minute. But anyways, <clears throat> exhibit A. This man murked the entire bootleg Justice League or the Guardians of the Globe, whatever the fuck you want. My nigga, they the bootleg Justice League. I mean, look at some of these niggas, bro. We got bootleg Flash, bootleg Wonder Woman, bootleg Batman, bootleg Aquaman, but he's a whole ass, musty ass, stank ass fish. Then we got bootleg Martian Manhunter. And then I don't know who the fuck this is supposed to be. I'm just calling Green Bitch. Then we got this nigga. I don't know who the fuck this is supposed to be either. But yo, this man, Omni Man, hold every single last one of they asses, dog. Like, look what he did to bootleg Flash, bro. He crushed his head slowly. And while he was doing that, he was trying to punch him, but he was breaking his hands while doing it. And what makes this worse, this shit probably felt like an eternity for him. So he just face plays Walmart woman, and he grabs bootleg Batman out of the fucking air and slams his ass on the canvas. And then green bitch just got annihilated. Like he put his whole hand through her face, then used her as a body shield. Then he just collabors Aqua nigga and got his ass ready to be stuck in a fresh can of tuna. Hey, but Loki though, they did start jumping them though. Fight back, nigga! Fight back, nigga! Fight back! Fight back! But then he rips off Martian Manhunter. Good checks this nigga so hard he blew his back out. Sent Walmart woman back to the great value aisle. And sent this nigga packing back to Valhalla. So yeah, uh, that's exhibit A. Uh, on to exhibit B. This man destroyed a entire alien civilization. So these aliens are attacking Earth and shit, right? So this man, Omni-Man, comes in, right? Makes them go back to their portal and retreat. But Omni-Man said, fuck that, nigga, y'all ain't going nowhere. So he flew through their portal to their planet and murked the entire civilization. And he did this shit in like the matter of seconds. And to top it off, bruh, they literally made him a portal so he could leave and go back to Earth. But to thank him for that, he decided to drop a big ass rock on their ass. Then just leave. <laughs> Bro. And the thing is, bro, in this episode, he said something that should have sent off red flags for like everybody. You don't seem to understand. Earth isn't yours to conquer. <laughs> This man said, Earth isn't yours to conquer. So in my head, I was like, hmm, wait a damn minute. Something ain't right here. But Lord have mercy, bro. This shit was just getting started. But before we go into exhibit C, our final exhibit, we're gonna take a little detour real quick because we got a little special exhibit. So without further ado, let's run exhibit S. <laughs> We gotta talk about Battle Beast. All right, I know this is a Omni-Man video, but y'all know damn well I was gonna talk about this nigga. This man is a absolute savage. This dude literally bodied everybody's shit. This dude literally came to Earth only because he thought they had worthy opponents, bruh. Uh, but obviously, uh, them niggas were not worthy for shit. Look how he just bitch slaps Rex, bruh. I enjoyed that shit way too much. Play that shit again. Yeah. Uh, obviously, if you cannot tell, I do not like Rex. Well, I mean, he ain't as bad as Amber, though. Jesus Christ! Her ass belongs to these streets, bruh. But you know, but you know what? That's for a whole nother video, bruh. But look how he just smacks this nigga, bruh. Sent his ass to oblivion. <laughs> This was when I realized there is no plot armor in this show at all. And he bathed in his blood, my guy. Oh, 
Bruh. And look at this no power having ass looking nigga right here. Like the fuck is your stupid ass gonna do, dog? You deserve to get your wrist broke. Like you just saw the strongest dude in the room get body. Like what bright idea went through your head when you thought of this? I have no powers. The strongest dude in the room with powers just got body. What should I do? Bull rush his ass. God. And then Monster Girl tried to attack him, but he sent her ass to the Shadow Room immediately. And this man got so bored because they were so damn weak, he left. Absolute savagery, bro. So that was our special exhibit, Exhibit S, and uh, it is time finally to move into Exhibit C. <sighs> Omni Man, Omni Man, Omni Man. Okay, so the entirety of Exhibit C is basically the entirety of Episode Eight. But some stuff happened before that, real quick. So some dudes tried to run up on him, but he murdered every single one of them. He broke Homeboy's spine, and then the immortal dude came back to life just to get his ass clapped and sent back to Valhalla again. So then we finally figure out what these Viltrumites actually are. They are not like Kryptonians. Everything Omni-Man said from day one from the jump was a damn lie. These niggas are Saiyans. They got a whole ass empire and everything, dog. So after he told all this to his son, he called his wife a pet. What? I do love your mother, but she's more like a a pet. He called his wife a pet. Oh my God, bro. This actually kind of hurt me a bit too. I was like, damn, how you going to call your own wife a pet, G? So after that, he just starts beating the dog shit out of Mark. But then these jets come to like, what, stop him or something? What the fuck are jets going to do to this nigga? Like these dudes are literally sitting ducks. So obviously they get murked. I feel bad for that one dude though, bro. He got saved and everything. He was like, oh my God, I'm a live hip hip hooray. You almost killed him. Instead, you saved him. So much effort for what? Bro. Hey, yo, RIP the background character 985C, man. Then he decks his ass all the way to the city. And then, oh, bro, 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 the train, the goddamn train. I'm not going to cap. When I first saw this scene, I started screaming, dog. He used him as a meat shield to literally kill everybody on that train. Oh, bro, bro. This, this scene right here just had me like shook. Me and all the homies were just sitting on the couch like, damn, he, he really just did that. Used his own son as a meat shield. Then he slams his ass through a carnival cruise ship, then threw his ass to the Arctic, caused a whole ass avalanche. Then this is where the real ass whooping began. What 17 more years? Duh. I can always start again. Duh. Make another kid. Duh. Duh. This man really said, I could always make another kid. <laughs> oh my God. How do you tell your son that? Then he just ground and pounded his face until he turned his face into a goddamn piece of meatloaf. And then obviously, of course, we get our world famous meat. You're fighting so you can watch everyone around you die. Think, Mark. Woo. Jesus Christ, bro. Okay, um, y'all, I'm gonna have to make an exception. Omni-Man will be the first outside anime character to enter the round table of Black Air Force activity. I, I, I can't deny this. This is pure savagery on another level in hell. You know what? I'll have Battle Beast in that hole too. My God, yo. But anyways, um, man, Invincible, this show deserves all the praise, man. I was not expecting this. I thought it was gonna be just a generic ass superhero show. But my God, man, this blew that out the water. So, man, I. I can't wait for season two and three, man. It's, it's gonna be fire, bro. But anyways, y'all go ahead, take it easy, man, and I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Get it, get it, get it.